follow along with this series of videos, you're going to need to download Make Human from this page here. I will add the link into the details of the video. So you're going to need to go down to here and take the latest stable release. In my case, I am using a Windows machine, so this is the one I'm going to download. And I will save to here. And then once it's downloaded, I will open it up and install. Once it's downloaded, go to your folder where you've saved it. And this is the exe file that you need to use. It's also downloaded some add-ons for Blender 2.8, which we will probably be using later on in the video. I'm not going to reinstall this because I already have it on my machine. But what we will do is open Make Human for the first time for you. On my desktop, I have a shortcut for Make Human. So when I first load it up, you're going to see the screen coming on. It takes a few seconds for it to load up. And you are presented with this screen. Eddie is going to demonstrate more of the different parts of this program. But what I will show you is the community side. And here you have a, a lot of choices for poses, clothes, target hairs, teeth. A number of different things that I would suggest you scroll through. So if we go to the poses, you update. And here you can see lots of different poses that you can bring in. It's the same for the clothes. If you go to the clothes, if you update the list. And say we want a bit of body armour. If you want to bring this piece in, you will click on download. It takes a few seconds to download it. When it's finished, click OK. You may have to restart the program for this to appear in the window when you're trying to choose the different costumes. And that's about all I'm going to show you on Make Human. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to get UV tools. Because that's another program you are going to need. To get UV tools, we're going to go to this link here, which is the GitHub page for the UV tools. Once you're at this page, you need to scroll down and go to the download the latest version and click this link. Now again, I am using a Windows machine, so I'm going to go for the Win x64 v366 file and download that click on save and once that's downloaded you can go into that folder then what you need to do is double click on this file it's going to come up with this warning we do trust it run anyway and then you're going to follow the instruction set up guides as you go through there. I'm not going to do it because I have got the latest version on my machine. The final piece of software you're going to need to download is Blender. Now at the moment Blender is at version 3.3. So you're going to need to come down to here and download. And it automatically knows I'm on a Windows machine and here's the file for the install. You will click on save and then from within that folder click on the file so here you can see it you double click on that and install it again I already have it on my machine so I'm not going to install it again so here we have blender started so we get rid of the splash screen and what we need to do is go to preferences so edit preferences and we need to install some of the files that we had in our download folder for Make Human. We're not going to unzip them, but we're going to import these files. Install. Install. And when it comes up, tick it. We also need to do this for 
all these and make sure you highlight them and that is all the files that you need for making them within Blender. Close it down. You may find you need to also, sorry, you need to save the files I believe. So save preferences. Then you might find you need to close it down and restart it. Then what you need to do is go to view and click on sidebars. And this then brings up a number of make human things. The other one I've got here, which is 3D print, that's another add-on that you would install. And again, that is under preferences. And if you scroll down, it should be Mesh 3D Print Toolbar. Now, I'm not going to explain what these do now, just that you might find you need these to be able to work with what we're doing. Anything that you tech, you need to make sure you click on Save or you could Auto Save. And that's the end.